Well, you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft's Edge new scareware blocker to block scammers just like this, as you can see on the screen here. Now, scareware blocker uses a machine learning model that can run on a local computer. The model uses computer versions to compare full screen pages to thousands of sample scams that the scam fighting community shared with us over the years. So these models run locally without saving or sending images to the cloud. But what it's going to do is protect you. So Scareware has been a major problem for many, many years. And what happens is people browse the web and all of a sudden they're greeted with pages like this, where you can't shut the page down and you get some sort of a toll free number up on the screen and some sort of error code or it will be Microsoft Defender has detected a virus or the site could be based on Microsoft tech support and it's claiming to be Microsoft that have flagged your computer and it needs you to call the number on the screen. Of course, you should never call these numbers because the people that you're calling are confidence tricksters and these people are set out to defraud you or deceive you and by persuading you that there's something wrong with your computer and it's simply not true. And what they're going to be doing is basically trying to lure you to uh, give you your payment details for your bank and get you to pay for something that you don't need to pay for. And they will scam you out of all your money. And once they get access to your account, they will start working on you and calling you on a regular basis to get even more money out of you. And these screens can be any type of screen. So Scareware has been a major problem for a lot of Windows users for many, many years. And it's a major problem for every browser that you use. But Microsoft Edge have come up with this new Scareware blocker, which they will be releasing to the general public very soon. And what it's going to do is it's going to protect you, the user. It's going to stop you from falling foul to these particular tech support scammers or fake antivirus programs you get on the screen. I'll leave a link to the article that Microsoft have here. And I think this is a really good move by Microsoft to help millions of people because there is tons of people out there that are getting uh, conned or falling foul to this particular type of scam. They normally generate from India. And of course, they have major call centers where they would just spend time calling people or setting up uh, dummy sites like these to where you would stumble on these sites and you would eventually get one of these screens popping up. So this is the big problem. And people that are not so tech savvy will suddenly think they have either got a virus on their computer or it will be some sort of message that they've had on the screen and they've called the number. And of course, they are going to get one of these confidence tricksters on the other end and these people were trained into putting pressure on people and getting you to hurry up to get you to give over your payment details so they can start pulling money out of your account and getting you to pay for things that you don't actually need. Now, a lot of these scams are making millions of dollars to these people every single year. And unfortunately, people get scammed by these all the time. And this article explains how scareware blockers uh, will help you and how it will stop you falling foul to this particular type of scam. Hopefully, once this is on the system and you turn it on, and I'll make a video when it's officially released to the general public, you can see on this diagram here how it works. And hopefully this will be the end of these particular types of scams because they've been a bane of society since the dawn of the internet. And it has been a major problem some of my earlier videos, way back when, when I started YouTube, these were a big major issue and they have been making people lots and lots of money for many, many years. And of course, nothing was done about it. They're in other countries where the government doesn't seem to want to do anything about it. And of course, now Microsoft have stepped up to the plate and come up with an idea to try and help block them to stop you falling foul to it. You'll see something looking like this when it finds a suspicious site. And this is really good for the person on the other end because they can then just close the browser off and they're not going to uh, get scammed. Now, the important part is to obviously we need to send feedback back to protect others to avoid false alarms. 
and to obviously build up a nice database of these particular types of scams that are going around so Microsoft then can block them and help other people and stop them from getting scammed. So it's important. This is the only way you can combat uh, something like this. It's like an antivirus program. When someone gets attacked by a virus or a piece of malware, it will ask you to submit this sample back to the antivirus company. It's important that we do this because then the antivirus companies can then work on that particular sample, which will be a live fresh sample that's live out there in the wild, and then add it into their database. They will then share this with other companies and it will stop other people from getting infected by it. It should look something like this in the browser, in your privacy search and services area. It will be saying something like Scareware Blocker. You would just toggle this on. Hopefully this will be on by default. And once this is on, hopefully we will then see the end of these particular tech support scam sites. And the way it works is basically uh, you would stumble on one of these tech support scam sites. It would have loads of numbers on there and it would try and get you to call the number. It will look something like this one right here where you would get some sort of virus detection, which obviously is not a virus. It's going to try to inject fear into you by saying that you need to do this immediately. You need to contact this number and all this sort of stuff. And it's preying on your fears that you've been uh, attacked or hacked or got a virus on the system. And when you click on things like this, you'll get these little pop-up messages here. This is a pretty old one, but I'm just giving you uh, an idea of what these are. So you get a true representation of what I'm talking about. So on here, you would then get this fake uh, Windows Defender, which used to be what it used to look like. Now they'd have more modern ones that will look like this, and it will do a fake scan, and it will detect... Uh, viruses on the system as you can see right here these are not real viruses they're just fake and it's done by javascript i think which is running on the web browser and basically once you've uh, got these running uh, it would then tell you to install an update and all this sort of stuff and of course eventually you would get numbers popping up on the screen to call this number immediately and what they're trying to do is once you call the number this is how the scam starts. You would start to call the number and they would then start to, uh, you know, pressuring you into letting them get onto your system in a remote support session, or they would then start to uh, put up some sort of price of what it's going to cost to remove all these viruses. And that's where the scam is. So you never really want to allow anyone to connect to your PC remotely because once they gain access to your computer, they're on your PC they will have access to all of the data on your PC. And these criminals are pretty nasty. If you don't play well with them and you start to get a bit fishy about what they're doing, they will then start setting about your computer to try and delete your data or even destroy your operating system so you lose your data. And that's what they're like. They're quite malicious and quite nasty. So never call these numbers. Now, after popular demand, people were requesting the Discord server be recreated. So I deleted the old one uh, because of personal reasons and other reasons. Uh, but I've now got a new Discord server just because of people wanting it. You can see here, I've just called it Brightex Hangout. There's not got a lot of people on it. It's not very active at the moment. And uh, again, there's some server rules on there and also voice channels. Tech support is on there as well and a bunch of other stuff. There's a YouTube area for YouTube members. So if you've joined a YouTube members group, then let me know and I'll give you the correct role and you'll be able to gain access to the YouTube members area. It's still work in progress. I'm still configuring some things. So you might see some changes over the up and coming weeks. But again, it's there for the community to use. So be a part of the community, join the Discord server and have a chat. And also you've got access to voice chat there. Whether you want to be a YouTube member or not, there is access to voice channels as well. So hopefully I will see you on the Discord server real soon. Anyway, but I said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.